Hi, my name is Dr. Jonathan Bayek. I'm an allergist and immunologist from Massachusetts. And I wanted to take a few moments to talk to you about some facts about the coronavirus. Number one, the coronavirus is not the flu. The medicines for the flu and the vaccines for the flu have no effect on the coronavirus. And at current times, we do not have effective medicines to treat it, and we don't have a vaccine. One of the things that's really important to understand about the virus is the differences between this virus and other viruses. And one has to do with something called the r naught. And what that means is the amount of people that will get infected when one person is. And this particular virus has a variable r naught. In some places, it's very high, up to three or four, meaning that if one person gets sick, three or four people will get sick. And you can see that that would cause the virus to expand and to continue to grow. When we get the r naught lower, lower than one, then it contracts. And that's what we need to do. And in some areas, that's been done very successfully. In others, it hasn't. And I wanted to make sure that we understand that the reason why that R0 is coming down, that the amount of its infectivity has gone down, is because of social distancing. The other piece to understand is its mortality. It's variable. Some people get sick and get better, and some people get sick and die. And it's very hard to predict, which is why we need to make sure that we continue the social distancing the way we're doing for as long as it takes. And that may take quite a bit. Social distancing has allowed us to move through this without having more and more deaths. And it's really important that we all understand that we have to continue this. Now, I want to get back to work just like I used to. We all want to get back to work. We want the economy to go back the way it was. We want to be able to be with our friends and family. We all want the same thing. But I just want to make sure that people understand that that's not going to be possible until we have testing that will allow us to see who can safely get back into the workforce and back into the public and who can't. It's really important that we all be patient and we have to wait for that and that we ask and demand from our government that they get that testing for us. And until we get that, it's just not possible. So I hope that information is helpful. Be well, stay safe, wash your hands, and don't touch your face.